Good people, welcome back to the channel. We are continuing in our team mock draft series. Today, let me check my notes. We are on episode 27, uh, which has us in Buffalo. We will be making selections in the 2023 NFL draft for the Buffalo Bills. So let's not waste my time or your time, more importantly, and let's jump right into this mock draft. We are going to select the Buffalo Bills. We went all seven rounds. Turbo is insane. Board defaults stay the same. And let's enter the draft. We have six picks. Uh, this is a, a Buffalo's build team, Buffalo Bills team um, that is constructed really well. Um, good solid pieces across the board. Um, so a team that doesn't need much, um, but we're gonna find out uh, where we can add some young players uh, to help this team get over the hump. So we are on the clock here at 27. And it says our only need is defensive back. Um, I might disagree there. Uh, Tredavious White, Kyer Elam, Teron Johnson, Dane Jackson. That's a solid four. We were able to keep Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde intact. Signed Taylor Rapp. I'm not, I'm no, don't know if I'm necessarily in agreement with that. Uh, linebacker, absolutely. Uh, weak side linebacker, we can use an upgrade from Terrell Bernard. Middle linebacker, uh, we only have Tyrell Dodson listed. Um, we lost uh, Tremaine Edmonds, free agency. Uh, so definitely middle linebacker is an area that I'm looking at. Defensive line, I've always said this defensive line is one of the best in the league. Greg Rousseau, Ed Oliver, Daquan Jones. They added Von Miller last year, Jordan Phillips, Boogie Basham, AJ Epinesa, Shaq Lawson. Uh, this defensive line is really, really talented um, and has a lot of depth. Uh, so, you know, a guy like Brian Brzee sitting here uh, would be a nice option, but not an option that we need. Um, could we take Anton Harrison as an upgrade to Spencer Brown? That's an option. There aren't any linebackers that I would take here at 27. I mean, I PFF doesn't. I have a, a late first, early second round grade on uh, Trenton Simpson. Uh, some folks have a late first, second round grade on Drew Sanders. Um, so these are, are two solid names that could be mentioned here. Uh, DBs, I mean, you can look at Emmanuel Forbes. I don't, I don't think we need a corner. I really don't. I don't think we need a corner. Of course, Trey White and his health um, is, is a question mark. Um, so many options a lot of places that we can go B. John Robinson just went off the board at 26 to the Cowboys There's a lot of talk that the Bills would go after a wide receiver Maybe there was some interest in OBJ if DeAndre Hopkins is traded. Zay Flowers is still on the board. I feel like Stefan Diggs would be a perfect wide receiver for him to learn under. You got Diggs, you got Gabe Jackson. Got Khalil Shakir penciled in as the third wide receiver. Took him in the fifth round last year, but 
Say he's better. Hmm. It's either the tackle or the wideout. But with the ability of Josh Allen, I think getting him a weapon like Zay Flowers would be insane. I'm gonna go Zay to the Bills at 27. Back on the clock here, pick 59. Now we can look at taking that linebacker. Diane Henley's on the board at 59. We're gonna take him here. There's great value at that pick. Now on the clock at 91. If you wanna look at DB here at 91, Garrett Wilson is a really, really good option. Not even gonna think twice about it. Flying through this draft with these six picks. Oh my goodness. Well, I'd love to take Anthony Johnson here. We don't need it, but again, this is our strength and we can continue to make it stronger. We hope DeMar Hamlin can come back, be healthy and be able to play the game that he loves. Um, but if he's not able to return to the field, um, you know, we signed Taylor Rapp in free agency, getting somebody like Anthony Johnson Jr. Again, learning from Poyer and Hyde, I think that could be a really, really solid option there. Uh, we don't need much else. Are there any other linebackers that we could double up? I mean, we can go get Dorian Williams too. We're gonna we're gonna need the help at linebacker. Give me Dorian Williams. And Johnson is still on the board, so we didn't have to reach and go take him. Or maybe we can get Ronnie Hickman. This team loves their safeties. Uh, let's look at offensive line. the interior oh this may be too high for Jackson Kirk because I'm just looking at this Ryan Bates do we want to upgrade from him got Spencer Brown we signed uh, re-signed David Quisenberry He's a tackle. Also 32. What tackles are here? And some of those guys have inside out flexibility. Maybe we can get Jordan McFadden at 205. Yeah, this team doesn't need much. I don't think they'll draft. Mm. I don't think they'll draft a safety. They could, though. I wouldn't see a problem with it if they did it. But they could. Yeah, let me go to guard. So we got Kirkland. I'm gonna go Jackson Kirkland just because we don't have many other needs. They wanna move up. So would they give me 150 and 193? No. They'd give me 150 and 215. So 
we go from having two picks left to three picks. trying to determine do I want to go one offensive lineman with the versatility or do I want to go two get like Jackson Kirkland and then maybe swing back around and get McFadden from Clemson I mean this team doesn't really invest heavily in the offensive line I mean they signed Connor McGovern to a, a three year 23 million dollar contract and I think the only drafted offensive lineman is Deion Dawkins. Second round. Uh, let's not offer a trade here. Let's see who would be a, a good pick at 137. We already got our wide receiver, so we don't need that. Got Dawson Knox, but we don't have a tight end outside of him. Quentin Morrison, Zach Davison. Usually don't run a lot of two tight end sets, but if we wanted to, if we wanted to add a little wrinkle to the offense. We wouldn't be able to do it outside of Dawson Knox. So maybe a Luke Shoemaker here. A good pass catching, but also good run blocking tight end. I think that makes the most sense. I think he's better than the two guys we have behind Dawson Knox. And I don't think you draft with the mindset that, you know, a player could get injured. Um, but I think you can definitely take a look and see, you know, um, just as a contingency plan, if something were to happen, you know, we have a guy in the fold who we believe can come and take over, um, that position and do a good job as a starter if needed. Um, and then at 205, I think that now you can take your Jordan McFadden. Uh, he can give you tackle guard versatility. So maybe he comes in and beats Ryan Bates for that starting right guard job. Or maybe he comes in and is a dynamite at uh, right tackle and beats Spencer Brown. Uh, he's a little undersized at 6'2", 303. So I think a lot of people feel like his home is going to be at guard. Um, but he does have the athleticism to give you the tackle uh, flexibility if needed. So let's go Jordan McFadden at 205. Uh, and that's going to do it. It's going to wrap it up for this draft for the Buffalo Bills. Let's take a look and see how we did in totality. All right. So we got an A. This is, this is really, really good. Really good. First pick, uh, round one, pick 27. We get wide receiver Zay Flowers from Boston College. Round two, pick 59. We get Diane Henley. Linebacker from Washington State. Round three, pick 91. We get corner Garrett Williams from Syracuse. Round four, pick 130. We get linebacker Dorian Williams from Tulane. Around five, pick 137. We get tight end Luke Schoonmaker from Michigan. And then round six, pick 205. We get tackle Jordan McFadden from Clemson. Bills Mafia, tap in with me in the comment section. Let me know how you like this draft what you like what you didn't like if anything and what you would do differently if you were making selections for your bills in the 2023 nfl draft if you are new to mo's nose thank you for time and attention and tapping in on this video consider doing a few things before you head on out 
one hit that subscribe button become a part of the most knows fam once you're fam i love you there's nothing you can do about it two let's take another two seconds and smash that bell icon so that you get notified every time new content drops right here at mo's nose throw a thumbs up on the video share the video with other bills mafia and again sound off in the comment section i love uh, reading your opinions and reactions to these mock drafts and with that have a great rest of your day love and appreciate you catch you in the next episode peace